So, hello everyone, I'm Monday, welcome to my review of Golden Kami episode 17. Yet another really good episode of Golden Kami, I think it's still absolutely one of my favorite animes, maybe even the best anime this season. Uh, it's hard to say right now, I think it'll be some really good. It's in my top three, probably. I would say last week's, um, yeah, Calico Circus was really amazing. It was really shocking. If you watched it, that was a very good episode. Uh, but also Bunny Sampa for me. Bunny Sampa for me has just been like you know, skyrocketing. I love that. I, mean, I love it so much. So Golden Kam is like, yeah, it's maybe number one. Maybe it's hard. But anyway, I think Gem's episode, why I mention it, is got this episode really, for me, really, really, really right. Uh, emphasizes why anime, this anime is so good because I felt like I watched two episodes. I felt like so much happening in Golden Cameo. So we have fitted other anime this is so far. For example, then uh, Circus last week was like, what? Right there. And I was like, that episode last week was better than any episode of Golden Cameo in total. Uh, and I stand by that uh, in this season. Uh, but each episode of Golden Cameo, I feel, is better. Right? I mean, the, the average value, yeah, the average value is better. And here again, I feel it's yet not like 9 out of 10 episodes. I think Golden Cameo so far has only had, in my opinion, 9 out of 10 or better. 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, yeah. So every episode in Golden Cameo has so much information, has so much content. So yeah, let's talk about it then. So, right, here in this episode, they has the flying thing, introducing a new antagonist, and then the whole, the whole you know, killing Star Wars deer thing, which I really, which I really love. Yeah, the whole Star Wars thing was great. Uh, and someone's probably saying, oh, Star Wars thing, that happened before in this book or something. Yeah, probably. They probably got that Star Wars thing from somewhere. But I think we all can admit and say that if you see someone cutting up someone and to leave inside its belly, right, so to speak, it's gonna be Star Wars thinking about it. You, you gotta think about Star Wars. Um, it's a bit of family guy. This joke with that with Peter Griffin doing so fast, and yeah, it's all right. Like, who, yeah, I think he really said Peter, I think, yeah. So, like, what else to think about it? At least here in the, I mean, modern days, you think about Star Wars, we see someone doing that. And modern days, I mean, the last 40 years, right? Yeah, but I mean, maybe someone wrote about that before Star Wars, but I think we can all say that, yeah, that is, that is uh, like the signum beginning of Star Wars Episode 5, uh, when Luke has to do that, right? And they have to hide inside of the. Uh, yeah, I can't remember his name. I should have played before. Oh, whatever. The, the, the hit mount animal, yes. Uh, but yeah, I love that scene. It was, a very good it was a very good part of the episode. And I think generally, again, right, because this anime is so good, it's like that, that felt like an older part of the anime, like a whole episode by itself. She was I mean, short, but like that's like a story by itself. I see it far, I see after the she goes go crazy, they still inside the deers, and then they're talking about this per persimmon. Uh, the dried tomato tasting fruit, um, the berry fruit, yeah, and so on, right? And we see Sugimo this young with the scars. So that's one story in itself, right? Like a short story there. Before that, we had the whole, um, yeah, getting out know, the prison thing and the, the of course, simple in the fight. So it felt like three really awesome parts of one episode, right? So that, 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 that again is my kind of my general point of going camera here. Why it's so good? Because it's like, yeah, it really has like three majorly good part of an episode. And I think that most of the animes, they might have like one or two of those, right? In the one episode. And it has so much content in one episode. It's uh, it's really, really amazing. Even though I would argue, say, yeah, the Star Wars, I keep calling it the Star Wars, but I'm going to say it's Star Wars plan, but <laughs> yeah, this the Star Wars escape. But, but I do feel it's like, uh, it doesn't really matter if you've seen it before. Uh, but sure, I would say I'm, I'm a big Star Wars fan. Uh, I'm a Disney boy, right? I worked on two Star Wars games, I guess. Disney Star Wars games. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I like I love Star Wars, and um, my brother does as well. So it's hard for me to not compare to Star Wars. I'm sorry, uh, but that's a good thing. I don't, I don't mind it so much. But I like the whole uh, the whole scene with the lying in there. This is like. You also had a weird comment, right? Yeah, because I, I do feel that even though, and I, I don't want to mention that really here to try to point out what I mean, right? It's like, even though it feels like, yeah, there's Star Wars plan, I see that in order stuff as well, right? Because that's like, a very like, typical pop culture thing, because it's a famous movie. Uh, but the Golden Cameo, they make it their own. They make it their own, right? Because it's like, yeah, it's kind of like the Luke and Han Solo, or whatever, surviving that thing, or so on, and the cast that they're doing it. But, they're doing it, and then they lie in their ass hippers, like, oh, a liver, <laughs> and they give me yeah, out and eating it. And then the guy's like, are you really, uh, uh, taste, did you want some, you need some blood? Okay, and it's like, I want it brain. <laughs> yeah, like, we better get that brain afterwards. You really like brain, but we have a lot of brains. <laughs> like so they make it their own, right? I think that is so good. 
in Golden Encounter, because again, I would say that, that scene itself is like, I, will, I wouldn't say that to death, absolutely not, but, but I mean, you, you've seen it all the time before, right? it's a kind of recogn recognizable scene. And, um, but Golden Gambit takes the twist on it, right? Makes his brain yoke, it's very, very casual. Like, I'm living in, right? Let's eat it up, yeah. It's very casual. I mean, it's consuming from the inside, like a big whale. Why not, right? Yeah, and it's like, yeah, let's get the brain after what we better get the brain. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think that's very important in Golden Cambio, how to make that kind of classic Star Wars scene. Yeah, but I, I would say, and then make it the role. Very, very important. And that, that is really fun, right? It's really funny comedy. So anyway, before that, then, we had the Sugimoto thing. And one thing about the Sugimoto and Shirashi on, on the separate dinner, I'm a little unsure if he liked him or not. She was like, yeah, I saw the, the, the tattoo and it was fake. And he was like, oh yeah, that's right. Because he looked kind of surprised when Sugimoto was like, oh yeah, I, I saw your, you know, your fake tattoo or um, thing. And it actually was fake, fake. So I'm fine with it. Uh, he might have used lied to him, and he actually didn't get. Actually, wasn't fake. And he just said that so he can, like, you know, pretend to be friends with him again, or he actually is friends with him. But he's like, he doesn't want him to be afraid of him, right? Uh, that that's my take on it. It looked like Shirashi wasn't actually aware that it was bad, right? So I think he actually didn't make it bad. Uh, Most of you probably said that. So oh, I trust you. Don't worry, bro. Kind of like that. Um, but yeah. It was a little sad though. I wish when he was like, I come to save you, bro. Like, I'm your best friend. I wish he actually commit, you know, um, admitted, sorry, admitted his, his, his uh, betrayal, right? It would be very really good. He was really feeling guilt, feeling and fear him earlier. I'm always afraid of him, but it's a good, I think it would be a good moment for him otherwise to have some character development and be like, I'm sorry, man, I actually betrayed you. Like, that would be great. Uh, of course, he didn't. Which I, mean, I think it's fine too. I like, it fits his character, it fits his character, that's what I mean. If he would admit to him, it would be, like, it would be a very, very big character development for him, right? Um, but he stays the same character. That, that might be boring in some animes and so on, but I think it's fine here. Uh, because he's not the main, he's like, you know, supporting the main character or, you know, by, you know, something like that, yeah. So, he doesn't have to be kind of carrying the character development on his shoulders. Kind of, you know, supportive character, just afraid of stuff, yeah. So, you know, it kind of works. Um, but yeah, I think the moment still was that he actually lied to him and told him that he don't trust him because he knew he didn't actually give him the right map, which he probably did. That's my take on it, at least. And then we have the new antagonist, so we have, yeah, the second coming Andrea. I think it was really funny he was screaming at Ugata, that was really funny, yeah. It's like, Whoa! and he's like, I don't speak your dialect. <laughs> like, I, don't, I never understood your insults. Come on. It's like, stop it. Yeah, that, that was great. Like, I, don't, I guess you said something mean to me. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> that, that was great. And also the whole, yeah, the whole dialect battle earlier. That, that was nice too. And he's like, oh yeah. And, he, and um, the master, um, yeah, the master frauder guy, he, he, he knew how to speak it very easily. And I was like, ah, he doesn't drink. <laughs> yeah, like, he made it was like a trick question. And that was great. That was really great. So, Shows him the he's also a somewhat you know proper antagonist, right? Or you know, uh, combat, I mean, combat, something like that. As always in Golden Cameo, all the bad guys are good at what they do, yeah. So he actually could speak another language or a very, very hard dialect, and he managed to trick him during that as well, right? So that was that was really good. So I liked it as well. Uh, I guess him again, you know, another like pretty somewhat competent. He was very angry or very emotional, I guess. So. Not the best antagonist to speak, not the perfect antagonist, but you know, yeah, like, yeah. but also, you know, good reading character because he's like has flaws, right? So I liked it. And I loved his show to be a recurring bad guy eventually, right? Where he sort of recurrently is come back at least, definitely. Uh, generally, another very, very good episode. He had both action and comedy. Yeah, so Golden Cameo again, right? For me, is the only best anime this season. Absolutely recommend it. And I think it's gonna be potentially be the best anime this season again. Probably. Take on it. It is that means nine time every time it is right. Very, very good. Anyway, hope you guys reviewed that. See you guys next week more going to come you and tomorrow we have a confusion. We have Black Clover, uh Rise of Wind, Tony Gala, lost the two sets of lot of stuff. Wednesday is that Bunny Sampa, which I think is a really good right turn shaker circus, and Sombra Sega, which also yeah, Sombra Sega for that matter. This is a couple of really good yeah, Sombra Sega is also really, really good. But Sombra Sega is like it's just a really, really good comedy. And Golden Kamio here gives us really good comedy and good action. And so it's like, you know, that's why Golden Kamio for me is a golden anime, right? It's a great comedy and great action. Anyway, see you guys. Hope you liked the video and have a great day.